Hi, this is Steve Caldwell. I want to tell you something really nice that I discovered about a week ago. I have a Behringer FCB 1010. I've been using it for quite a while, but notice it does have some limitations. With the stock firmware, there were certain things I just couldn't control, primarily due to the limitations of the firmware. There are other FCB firmware developers out there, but until last week I hadn't seen a version of firmware that I could actually have complete control of the LED lights and 7 segment display. Well, Eureka Sound now has a version of firmware that can do this. The new configuration is called I.O. Mode. Granted, I.O. Mode really doesn't provide any fancy FCB 1010 programming like banks, favorites, etc. Fortunately, for this type of functionality, I can use a different piece of software called Bohm MIDI Translator Pro. Once I've set up a project file using this software on my computer, I can then upload the project to a small device called Bombox and then use the FCB 1010 with Bombox with no computer needed. Here is a simplified diagram of my configuration. I have the FCB 1010 connected to my Bombox, which is the main brains of all the configuration. The control input and output is handled by the FCB 1010 in I.O. mode. My Bombox manages all of my presets and also provides the LED feedback to the FCB 1010 and the other devices that I have connected. Right now I only have a few functions programmed, but I thought I'd share with you what I have so far. Yes, it is a work in progress. This is the standard initialization in I.O. mode, and as you can see, there's really nothing there after it powers up in the way of LED indicators. Now I'm starting up my project, and uh, as you see, as it gets started up, it says SU, and then it goes plus zero, which basically means I'm in bank zero. I can use the up and down buttons to go up banks and down banks. This is all controlled out of the software uh, on the bone box. I have my number one button that controls my Leslie fast slow speed based on the device that I currently have selected. The light on means fast and the light off means slow. My number five button actually controls which device I'm controlling and I just basically uh, list them by the uh, MIDI channel number that they're using. The number three button is my special function button. With this on, I can press the number one button to switch the output device used for my left expression pedal, and I can use the number two button to switch the output device used for my right expression pedal. My six and seven buttons control the CC numbers used for the left and right expression pedals, respectively. Then I go back to my number three button and turn off the special functions and it goes back to normal display mode. I'm now going to show a few screenshots of Bohm MIDI Translator. It's really beyond the scope of this uh, video to show you all the details, but it should give you some idea of the power of the software that I'm using and what you'll be able to do with it. For more information on Bohm MIDI Translator Pro, you can go to www.bohm.com. This is a screenshot of the presets that I use to control all the FCB IO buttons when they're not in special mode. This screenshot shows what happens when I press the F3 buttons and how the buttons are controlled after F3 is pushed. This screenshot depicts the programming that I do for the LED feedback and the 7 segment display feedback. Thank you for watching and please keep in mind that this video was independently produced.